Hey friends, this video is a vlog of my recent trip to Tulum, Mexico. This was my first trip to Tulum and I would describe it as a magical place with art, culture, tranquility, breathtaking nature, beautiful people, and amazing food. So if you want to learn more about traveling to Tulum, just keep watching this vlog. Now after doing some research online, we decided to book our airport transfer with USA Transfers as they were kind of claimed to be the fastest and safest service and we were extremely pleased with the customer service. They were incredible because I kept going back and forth with quest questions and they were just great. Um, now we arrived at the Cancun airport and we were told just to look for the staff wearing USA Transfers clothing and the ride came very quickly. Tulum is just under two hours from the airport so we paid $175 US for a return transfer and that's for a private air conditioned van with drinks and snacks available. The price ranges from hotel and it's also a flat rate per van so I think they can fit up to about five people. We then arrived at Live Tulum which was our first place that we stayed and this was a boutique condo style hotel and I absolutely loved it. You can see I, I feel very at home there. Um, it's just I love the way it was decorated. It just felt very homely and of course they had a lot of Frida decor and that actually got my attention when I was booking it. And it's just if you're an artsy kind of person you're probably gonna like it here and the customer service is incredible. I personally picked it because I saw on TripAdvisor that people just kind of raved about how nice the people were at this place and they mentioned this guy named Ivan and when I met Ivan I told him I'm like I heard about you online everybody loves you and honestly by the end my husband and I were like we're gonna miss Ivan <laughs> he was just so incredibly nice and as you can see it's a pretty simple room but very cute I, I love the whole mirror concept and I love that at night, so everybody's room has a balcony that faces the back pool. And at night at 7.30 they would put on movies, which I thought was really cute and kind of different from places I've been to. And just up the street there's a 24-7 pharmacy where you can get drinks and snacks. And they also have bicycles that you can use in the day at no extra charge. You just have to put a refundable deposit, which was great. So we took our bikes to the Mayan ruins and we just parked them there and we paid our money and it's super super hot and busy so I'd say go before 10 for sure if you can go around 9 that's great. I'd say wear a swimsuit because you can go to the beach there, wear a hat, sunscreen, comfy shoes and get some water it's really really hot there. People might try to sell you special tour packages. Um, if you're open to that, of course, you can listen and pay more. But if you don't want to do that, just go straight to the entrance. And it's really affordable just to do it without any tour guide and just do your own thing if you want to do that. We were going to do the cenotes after that, but honestly, we spent the rest of the days by Live Tulum just renting, well, taking the bikes out and exploring the city in the day and the night and just trying different places to eat and checking out local places for shopping and just enjoying the people and the places. Honestly, we've done sort of like the swimming cave thing before and also swimming with turtles, I guess just like having family from the Caribbean. We've kind of done that sort of thing before. So we kind of just wanted to relax and really like experience Tulum without doing too much of the typical tourist stuff, I guess. Now Live Tulum has a pool, but they don't really have a beach very close to them unless you you know take a cab um, which is pretty affordable or take your bike so we wanted to check out a beach and we heard that if you get something to eat at some of the um, restaurants along the beach or the hotels are pretty cool with you just using the beach front so we heard that hotel put that's not what it's called Posada Margarita <laughs> um, had a lovely beach front and really really good food so we checked there that place out and we absolutely loved it it was beautiful the food was incredibly fresh and delicious it was kind of like an Italian cuisine and the people were really really nice and you felt like you were almost in a bit of a secret garden in the front and then it goes into a little bit of a, like a boutique style um, with some like bikinis on sale and stuff like that and then you're right on the beach and so we had some food there and just kind of laid out for 
the remainder of whatever day this was I can't remember now but it was really nice and relaxing and if you're wondering I would say the bike ride was about maybe 15 minutes from live Tulum I hope I guessed that right and also everywhere you eat has Wi-Fi in Tulum so you can just ask them for the password in case you want to stay connected to whatever work you have to do if you have to do work on vacay you don't have to worry about that now this was our next place that we stayed and it was Azulik and it's an eco resort and it's absolutely breathtaking video doesn't even do it justice I would say it's kind of like Jurassic Park meets Avatar it is just gorgeous gorgeous sorry <laughs> I just had to really explain to you in case you can't tell now this place is adults only and apparently clothing optional which was very entertaining to watch from the top deck <laughs> um, yeah so this place is very eco-friendly there really isn't much electricity other than the fan that's going um, which is very essential because it does get super hot and you will see that little thing on the door there yep if you leave that down then nobody will bother you if you leave it up then someone will come to clean your room in the day and this is the toilet of course as I said there's no light so you just have the candle so at night it, it could be pretty interesting um, and the whole one side of the villa is all mirrored walls um, so that's what I'm showing you there and they do provide some drinking water for you because um, the taps are actually, the taps on the tub are all salt water. It's not the same salt water from the sea, but it is a salt water. And there is no shower, there's only the Mayan tub because they say that people that take showers are in a rush. Um, and the front deck, obviously, as you can see, has the beautiful tiled pool, Mayan um, pool, tub, whatever. And then the swing and the um, chairs to lay out. Now, in terms of any like extra supplies you might want to bring, I would say um, definitely bring a mosquito spray for when you're going out at night to eat outside. Um, paper towel came in handy, and definitely also lamps or little lights um, that battery operated because it does get very dark. As you can see there only are candles in your room at night and they actually come around five o'clock each night to light them for you and this is how the place looks at night there's just like globes that light up that kind of leave the path if you are gonna go out at night and it was that's what we did we went out to eat we actually did not eat at the resort at all because we just wanted to explore and find different places around the resort so yeah we didn't even eat there now you can rent bikes at the hotel but we found a place that was actually a little bit cheaper just down the street from the hotel I think it was called Mateo's or near to Mateo's um, and one day we just went riding really far and we came up to this area which was the National Park and it was quite the adventure because so you pay um, I think it was like 64 pesos for two people and you just take your bikes up I would say about a 10 minute ride and then on your left you'll find this beautiful beach and this beach was just our favorite for the whole trip and we absolutely loved it now if you plan to see anything else just reverse and go back because we kept driving on our bikes after this beach thinking that there was more to see because when you pay at the toll they make it sound like there's restaurants and tours but honestly we went so far and it is so hot and nobody's around and when we got to what we got to we were like this is it it was like a camping ground and it really wasn't what we expected so it was like honestly a great exercise in retrospect but at the moment I thought I was seeing mirages I thought I was gonna faint all I kept doing is drinking my own saliva as I'm riding on the bike thinking this is like me and facing death and I was just gonna collapse because it was so hot I was getting very dramatic in my head and my husband was like great exercise are you sure anyways in terms of places to eat we just liked walking outside of the Azulik hotel they were you just kind of turn to the left when you come out and the whole strip is just filled with different places to eat this is one of the places that we went to and 
Um, they just had pretty basic options, some that are more Mexican flavored and then some that are more traditional, like a, I guess, American style breakfast. And then we also went to this place called Mateo's that you can see here. We really like Mateo's. Um, at night, they were really, really nice with all the different lights and stuff. It was really pretty. Now, this is just me walking through a zoo lake. If you are on the tall side, you're going to be ducking uh, quite a bit when you're walking through the kind of pathway outside um, just because the palm trees are literally everywhere. And just look at the breathtaking view and you're not even seeing it with the sunset. Like, it is just gorgeous. And I think that's a pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to vlog as much as I could while still enjoying my vacation. So that's as much as I could get. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And check below. I will put any extra info that I couldn't fit in this video down in the description. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.